Hello and welcome back to Starfield. From here on out, I am going to be focusing on the main story. Um, we've done all of the side faction quests and hopefully most of the character development quests. Um, so here on out, we're going to be doing that. So the next thing we are working... Oh, sorry, I'm shaking everything. We need to go to find the scorpion's sting on this planet. If you need to harvest any organic materials, now would be the time. Okay, that was bizarre. I didn't have like a plant. I mean, I didn't have like a ship drop. Why? Where's the ship? Anyways, what is this thing? Is this gonna attack me? Am I, can I talk to it? Like, what? That statue. Clearly some connection to the creatures in the area. For one, are you not worried about this thing leading us, uh, us to something? Like, what is happening? Ancient ruins. Oh my gosh. It's like praying mantis. What is this? Hunting a cardon? Okay. What is happening? Can I just scan him? Temperament what? Territorial. Hey. Stand up. Okay. Find the scorpion sting on. Like, okay, well, I basically. Activate? Did I activate it? Why is it not activating? Hold on a second. Do I have to hold it down? I'm so confused. Go to the last star of the Scorpion constellation. Maybe I actually have to physically <laughs> go to the last star because that's that's what I need to do. All right, let's jump. I have no idea. Wish it would have told me that. Hail the Scorpius. Okay, that. That was not clear on what I was supposed to be doing. Alright, keep... Keeper Aquilius sent me to find the true meaning of unity. Time to round two. No. Should I, though? I can speak for myself. The emissary. Constellation ship, you weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. Let's go. Let's be friends. Let's... I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. Uh, that's fine. I think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot of getting those answers you must desperately want. Fine, I'll begin docking procedure. I have no reason to trust a starborn. Any starborn, I see for okay. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna dock. Good. See, we can all get along from now on. Cause I wanna know what's going on. Alright, dock with the Scorpius. Okay, talk to the hunter. 
board. Retrieve what? Retrieve. I didn't even read it. Retrieve waiting followers. Oh. oh, who's not with? Where is on? Oh, I guess she couldn't come with me. Okay. Hello again. <laughs> Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Probably. All we ever wanted was to talk. You attacked us. Just tell me who you were, who the starborn. Okay. Yes, we did. Just want to talk. We are not a monolithic people. The starborn are individuals. Hmm. Some are united in cause, others are in it for themselves. Uh, just like every faction. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. It doesn't justify murder. I agree. Killing you and taking your artifact are both on my list. You're talking in circles. I came here to learn about unity. Oh, that doesn't justify murder. And who gets to say that? You. You killed my husband. Me. Dude. The emissary. I have debated morality for near infinity. How about I bring Coral in and here? And all I have found are groups of people talk to her about enforcing it. their will on others. I just start shooting you guys. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. So, uh, Oh, good grief. I gotta say, this part is more awkward than I thought. Hiding my face was way easier. This is some kind of cruel trick? Don't smile at me! I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. I need to see this unity for myself, but both of you are trying to keep people from it. So this unity is where the artifacts are from. The temples? They are all connected. Okay. But both of you are trying to keep you. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Mm. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples, the anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. So, who are you? You're you somebody I need to I know? Mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to face. establish an order where they decide who's worthy. 
I attacked your launch because I wanted the artifact, and you held me off. You got away. Mm -hmm. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. Okay. I was also human once. Who are you? But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Keeper Aquilius? Keeper Aquilius? Is that the guy? I met so many people in this doggone game. I don't even remember who he is. No, some other version of the sa same person? What does it mean? You've been to Unity. It means I've seen thousands of universes. Collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks, to give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who has seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. So I help one of you. We combine our artifacts and enter the unity. I'm not helping someone who murdered my friend. Don't you understand what we're talking about? There's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse. One is right over there. Besides, why fight me again when you don't have to? I want a truce. Between all three of us. That's fine with me. I will give you some time. To think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine. Or the hunters. We're gonna go yes. with Sam. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. So confused. Uh, talk to the hunter, talk to emissary. I'm sure you have more questions. I'll tell you everything I can. So what happens when you enter Unity? It is not an easy experience to describe. But the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Uh, who was I in your universe? What was I like? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. Hmm. What exactly is the Unreality? When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. So you've tried to protect the artifacts, keeping them from being abused. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Oh, uh, yeah. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. The 
unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's <clears throat> the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. Oh, you're welcome. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the emissary to decide what to do about you. Why do you call it a hypocrite? You let me go, why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. Mm, that's new. Interesting. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. Yeah, this meeting because of me. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. I had coffee Can we make and I'm peace? just like... No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> I already don't like you. But you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Alright, I'm not talking to you anymore. You're a jerk. You killed my husband. Where's my butt? Where's my ship? It says return. Return to my ship. This is the way I came. So, it says to return to the ship. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there. You must discover for yourself. Okay. Here. To open the way. Thank you. All I ever wanted was answers. <coughs> I choked. Sorry. Um, you start burn sure like your... You must see yourself for yourself. Nonsense. Fine, I'll see what I can find on the moon. Earth's moon in the solar system. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. Oh, do I have to? I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. Oh, I'm telling them everything. But I will leave that to you. Alright. Go to the Nova Galactic Research Station. Return to the lodge. Whoa, wait. What, what are y'all doing? Who are you? Who is this person? This is a nice ship. You're very lucky, you know. Why is there a scientist on my ship? I didn't invite you here. Sarah, why are y'all playing darts? Is this is this a weird way of playing darts? If you darts? want help, I'm here. Why do you sound weird? So I guess we will return to the lodge um, and talk this out with everybody. Yeah, well, come I on, let's go and drop the bomb on everybody that we um. If nothing else, Constellation does have excellent lodging. <sighs> oh, Vladimir. 
All right, guys. Y'all wouldn't believe this if... Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? Yeah. The meaning of unity. It's the center of the multiverse. We were building the way... We're building the way to it. There's an infinite number of me out there. I feel sorry for all of them. Same as alive, a version of him from another universe. What? Surprise. It can't be. Our colleague is alive in some alternate dimension? Am I hearing this right? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. I met a version of Sam. He told me that Unity creates the Starborn and they can cross universes. Apparently in another universe, I died and Sam lived and he's the emissary now, a Starborn. Trust me, this multiverse universe, the unity is how we get to make... Okay. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter. Mm. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. This is our mission. To go into the unknown. Think of what awaits us. A new life. The powers of Starborn. You're right. Go we have to unknown. see the unity for ourselves. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but... But. I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Perfect. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Sounds good. Talk to Vladimir. We are boldly going where no one has... Well, These we have gone before multiple These last glimpses from the times. eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Okay, thanks, Vladimir. I'll follow up on these. I'm not quite ready to look for more artifacts. Right, let's go. Catch a smile out there. You need a ship with a grab jump range of 21 light years to reach your destination. Grab jump range is influenced by the ship's grab drive and the mass ship's. I don't want to. Okay. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. Uh, these people are family. I hope it feels that way for you. Where too. am I going? Go to Freya and go to the Nair. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Obtain a ship with a 21. Oh, God. I don't like my ship. Do I even have options? I don't even know. I guess I gotta upgrade my grab drive. So instead of modifying. I can't modify my ship to get 30, whatever, 21 light years jump, so I'm just gonna buy one. I have enough credits. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, this one looks nice, I guess. It's five, I don't know, crews of five, I guess. Um. <sighs> yes. Okay. I have obtained a ship. Yay, my ship. You know what? It is what it is. It's a big old bulky hot mess. Um, let's, let's just go. Let's go to um, when we got our Nova Galactic Station. Um, show on map. Is this on Luna, the moon? Let's go here. Since that's where um, Sam Star person uh, so to go. Investigate the research station.
It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. You think? Hopefully for no reason we need to be concerned about. Starware Volatare Project Prism launch? Oh, play the recording on the roof? We're happy to announce that the first test launch of the Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 9 EDT. Reminder uh, to be please sneak all watchers to Eastern Daylight. Why is everything Eastern Daylight time? <sighs> Our partner will also be on the raid. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Eastern Standard Daylight, whatever, time is like two hours behind me. No. Credit. No. Oh. oh my goodness, woman. Alright, let's just let's just go this way. Going to Florida. All right. Talk this? to me, my dear friend. Why is Vasco? Okay. Why is Vasco in the walkway? Um, just like sleeping. What is happening? Good day, Captain. Why? I will await your next okay. order here. Okay. You are ridiculous. I don't know if I like this. Whoa! Broke money caps. Now he's out here. You weird robot. Where are, like the okay, this is supposed to be Florida. Did the whole beach consume? The state of Florida, it looks like just, oh my gosh. How is, okay. So all of this is supposedly Florida. And this, this is the only thing that survived? This thing? Find a way inside. The heck is that? Okay. Where's my Witcher sense? How do I get in here? Okay. Find a way. 
Do not like the cold. Stiffens the joints, lowers rate. Perhaps an elevator will allow us to access what lies beneath all this dust. Maybe. So, yeah, Florida is nothing but is not cold at all. Oh, I gotta get up there. I feel like I'm... We can never know whether lives were lost because this. It seems the only thing lacking is power. With it, this elevator should still function. Okay. <gasps> Whew. Okay. Okay. Let's just keep con. Ooh, here we go. Enter NASA. Where? This way? Uh, can I press the button? Power required. Oh, God dang it. Okay. Ooh, press the button. Power, no power cell. Oh, no power cell in inventory. Are you coming? Nope. Find information about NASA. Oh, Lord. Whoever once used this room probably never could have imagined all that has happened since it was built. Uh, launch procedure access station logs. Launch procedures. Remember the final vitals and suit seal checks were essential. Access station logs. Delivery from Mars. Dr. Victor. And the meeting today. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatian. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. Mm. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they've brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatian. I have been trying to call you up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. Okay. I, I think I'm being invited into the lab. Mm. Probably not the best idea. Meeting today. Station log. Dr. Judith Satin. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I. I don't know how much I should say. The periodic table just got thrown out the window. Interesting. Oh. Oh, oh. Should I be concerned? Do I need to go this way? I can't. Okay. I have to go down. Would seem there is more here to explore. Yeah, shall we? Ma'am, that is where I am going. You're just along for the ride. Huh, huh, huh. 
Tessa was very proud of all that it accomplished. I suppose they had a right to be. I mean, yes. I thought this thing was an enemy, but it's just a space suit. Hey, you know, you know what would be really funny is if they talked about vault tech. Because that looks pretty close to a vault door. But I'm not gonna press the button. Oh look, do the water fountains still work? Oh, what's this? Judith Percy. I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. And That's not what I'm asking. Type. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you've had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to bump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against the brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? Looks like early I'm testing sorry, for Judith, planetary I... habitats. Look, not here. <laughs> the looks so on their I'm faces if we could show them you all everything. that we have learned. But I'm not lying, okay? Could we talk? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. She's always talking while I'm trying to listen to a recording. <sighs> Am I not done with your light quest? So, we finally have all the answers. And I guess. yet here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did I before. I like the little raccoon patch. This Where'd you get that? Talk of the unity of a, a multiverse, mm. dead friends appearing again. It is all simply too much. The artifact, the powers to Starborn, it seems. It all seems to add up. You don't seem very happy about any of this. There's only one way to prove whether it's true. Someone has to enter the Unity. And you think it is just that simple? <laughs> it would seem to me that verifying this is much like verifying the idea of an afterlife. Basically. If this is all true, as the Starborn say, then passing through the unity will allow one to know the truth. But whomever does that will then never be able to report that truth back to the rest of us. This is true. What good then does it do us? I have no idea. You believe in the truth of the Great Serpent. This is similar. The existence of Starborn here is our universe backs it up. Uh, this has always been the mission. Learn the truth no matter what. If you ask me, this beats dying to get answers. We did not, could not, have understood that our mission would bring us here. True. If this is true, it changes so much of what we know about the universe. And we have no way to know unless we make this leap. It's okay to be scared. It's a huge leap. We have to see what where this leads, what the unity is. We need to finish what we started. That's too much at stake to do any, not to do. Um, da, da. I really want to see this through. I need your support. Yes, I understand there are profound implications to all of this, but I do not see how you can be so eager to follow in the footsteps of the Starborn. Even if everything the Starborn have said is true, if you pass into this unity and come out in, in some other universe, look at who they are and what they have become. They have the faces and voices of people you know, uh, yep. but are nothing like them. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? This is what exploring is really about, taking risks venturing into the unknown. I understand what you're saying, but I have to see this through. 
This is all just theory until we have the artifacts. Let's focus on that first. That feels very much like you are just trying to delay this conversation. Yes, I as am. As long as possible. But you are not wrong. And certainly, at this point, we would not want the artifacts falling into any other hands. Correct. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. Ta-da! Okay. This facility covered quite a range of disciplines. I must not be kind to How it. How do I get... Is this a door? That's blocked. <sighs> There seems to be like no you know I better not I better not say anything there seems to be no enemies watch watch there be enemies I don't want that push Pat. really I thought I had to jump across. If I have to, if this thing explodes and I have to run out of here, like I last time. Mm. Unlock? There's some stuff in there. Emergency power cell. Let me. Nah. Ha ha ha. All right. I figured I'd have to open up another door. Slot that in. Say, hey, where's all the enemies? There will be enemies. gonna blow us all up okay is there anything worth taking I wonder 
think Vasco would see his likeness in this model? I was about to say the same thing. I should have brought Vasco in here. Is there anything worse in there to grab? So let's keep going. What is this? Power required. Where's the power? Where's the... <sighs> okay. Okay. Do I have to open this? Or is there somewhere else? somewhere right here all right let's open this up I hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered ma'am chill We're, okay power switch activate what is this That's, oh <laughs> Emergency turret control. Yeah, there's no point in uh, doing that right now. Are you kidding me? This door was open. Oh my god. This goes deep. Okay. For one thing. The scope of this facility is massive. You can't have stuff like this in Florida. I don't live in Florida, but I live in the South. And it's just, you can't have this type of facility underground. It just doesn't work. Our land is too soft. Especially in Florida. Our houses don't even have basements. Security protocol procedures. Right. Access station logs. Project log. Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore. But further work is going to have to take place in space. Somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Okay. Project log, Dr. Judith Petien. information about the grav drive. I watched the grav drive tests from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming. Worrying. It could take years, decades, before we know what all these side effects of operating a grab drive can be. But no one wants to hear that right now. Mm -hmm. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. You know what? She's probably the smartest one in here. Alright.
must be nearing the artifact. I it sure hope here. so. We should not give up now. Press Y to float up and oh shoot. And B to float down. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Jeez. What in the world? I need to get into that office. Why? Look down. Is that a pin floating? And a bug? That's interesting. Alright, so how do I get in there? In there? I do not like anti-gravity areas. Oh god, dang it. Is this another place where I am going to Oh, let's lock pick this and I really don't have to. What's up here? Yep. I ain't going I ain't lock picking nothing that I have. Oh! Heidi ho, neighbor! Snake oil! Oh no. What's this? Maintenance key. I am going to take that. Requires key. Release artifact. Okay. Uh, prototype drive. Uh, please be careful whenever running power through the prototype. Access station. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the Grav Drive projects. Okay. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we're seeing. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting. Causing some gravitational fluctuations that are okay, going off our old models. What? Why do you need the scan? Do I know what I'm seeing, Victor. The data coming back from the satellites is very clear. It's the craft drives. All those jumps from the moon. At this rate, Earth's atmosphere is going to start sputtering out into space. Mm, so Can yo. the drive be fixed? I'm Broke working Earth. on some designs that should discreetly solve the problem. Under the guise of an emergency update to the fueling pumps. We're talking about the end of Earth, and you're trying to be subtle about it. Judith, the last thing we need is people losing faith in grab drive technology. That might be our only option. To what? Are you seriously saying we should abandon Earth? <sighs> the timeline is <clears throat> under 50 years. A blink of an eye for a planet, but more than enough time for a human exodus. And what do we tell people? We say it's an act of God. One that science has found a solution for. Wow. Time for humanity to take its place in the stars. You know, didn't you? She you lied to me. Sure did lie. My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Even she didn't believe me at first. But I have no reason to lie to anyone now, so I... I hope you'll accept this confession, whoever you are. When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. 
space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Mm. Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about Pretty the much. real origins of the grav drive. Oh, right. This artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did. Okay. How do I get to it? This way? Yes, no. Do I have to go back? Okay. Nope, nope, nope. How do I I floated to come in here, but now I don't know where to go down. do I get to the artifact? Oh. You know, sometimes I just need to stop and read. Imagine that. Needed to unlock it with the storage key. How the hell? Okay. How the hell do I get up there? Oh, boy. Oh. leave NASA. Alright, how do I leave? Now my arrows are here. <gasps> oh, I almost fell off that. Alright. Ah ha ha! My big mouth. Andreja, please go in there. Uh, Starborn, right here. Obliterate them. Embrace death. Oh, lovely. Open eternity. <laughs> yeah. Rude. Try it. Oh, 
more up here. No! I need a better gun. Andreja, where are you? So maybe I should grab it. No, no, I've already done all of this. Oh, there was one right there. Or a space helmet. You know, at least I, um, at least they're only putting one person against me at a time. And watch, I'm gonna say that, and they're not gonna do that anymore. I just wanna get out of here. I cannot. Emergency, emergency, cut. Can I do this? This seems like it's an emergency to me. Done. Uh, it's ma'am, I just got it done. Where am I going? Which way am I going? Up the stairs? Oh, I gotta go that way. What? Oh, god dang it. Where? Where is this thing? <laughs> what is this? Hold on. This, this. Stop saying stuff. What, um, what other gun do I have? I cannot wait to see you. Perfect. Right, there's one right here. Perhaps it was nothing. Perhaps. Wow. 
I want that power. Where the heck does she go? Where? Andreja, where did you go? that starborn person went. I don't know where Andreja went. Um, she like got sucked up into the ceiling or something. Exit, hopefully. Emissary. Oh. Hmm. I don't know where Andreja went. She like just got sucked into the void. Sacrifice on Earth wasn't worth having grab drives. We lost her home. Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, wrong. all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifact forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? What gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see Ooh. the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That is why we watch over them. The only thing you are watching out for is yourself. The emissary is right. The artifacts need to be in the right hands. It's time someone other than Starborn made a decision. Don't be a fool. The emissary and I may have our differences, but you do not want to give us a common enemy. I guess you're true. For once, he is right. Don't do this. We can collect the final pieces together. I'm gonna I'm gonna side with the emissary. I don't wanna Let's let's side with the emissary. Thank you. Well, can't say I didn't try. No. We'll settle this at the usual place. The very temple. We'll be there. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. He's not even gonna try. Stay for a moment. Why? You must have questions about what happens next. True. We will not be able to go to the very temple right away. There are still other artifacts out there in the settled systems that haven't been gathered. Okay. You will need to work with your colleagues in Constellation to find them. Um, why are you waiting? Couldn't we attack the hunter now? He and I have made a number of agreements over the years. If you can even call them years at this point. We let him go. In exchange, he'll wait at the buried temple. 
You'll be able to prepare any way you can before then. Will you be coming with me? I will meet you in orbit above the buried temple. We'll face what's there together. Oh, nice. What's the buried temple? There's always a final artifact in a specific temple. The hunter and I agreed that whoever you sided with, the other would wait there. Expect anything and everything. Other starborn, human mercenaries and defenses, alien creatures under mind control. It's all fair game. Great. Great. Why? Um, I guess we'll go and start collecting all the other artifacts then. But I'm going to end the episode here. It's going to be kind of a little longer episode. A um, longer episode. But thank you everybody who has joined me. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys next time.